What if I told you that there are two things that are happening inside the mortgage industry that are going to impact rates and possibly buyer demand right around the election time? Hey friends, it's Andy Nazaroff with the Nazaroff team. For this week's Real Estate Corner, I wanted to step out, just heard from our mortgage partner, shout out to you, Cynthia Reynoso at Cardinal Financial, for some really unique information about what's happening inside the mortgage industry. You know, just recently, the Federal Oversight Committee said that they have decided to increase inflation slightly over 2% sometime after the election. Now, don't worry, it's not like doom and gloom. It simply means they don't like how low inflation has stayed and for economic reasons want to impact things to make it slightly go from where it's at sitting just below 2% to just over 2%. However, that will have an impact on mortgage interest rates. And now you have a little bit of a crystal ball that works to know that it's going to happen right after the election season. Second thing we heard. Um, better way to put this is Fannie and Freddie, which are the big, 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 big institutions over the conventional loan market. The thing that we heard there that makes it very interesting for you is they're, they're making tweaks to the costs on refinances, which is going to make it more expensive either in APR or other costs to refinance into these amazing rates that we have. So the amazing rates end up being really just for purchases. Um, that slows up the refinance market, but it's also an indicator of what might be happening for purchases right very soon. So if you have thoughts of listing and waiting to list, I wouldn't because buyer's purchase power is going to be impacted. If you have thoughts of waiting until after the election to see how things shake out, I wouldn't because your purchase power is going to be impacted. But ultimately, it depends on your circumstances. So reach out to us. Let's have a little strategy conversation, figure out what makes sense for you, maybe connect you to that lending partner, and we figure out where we go from there. Until next time, thanks for watching.